Obviously, you're dressed as Supergirl, and what is your costume? Lolita. Lolita? Lolita. Well, that, that works. Um, so, <laughs> names are? Deacons. Deacons? Austin. Austin, okay. Um, so, how, is this your first convention? Or? First, very first time. Okay, and what do you think of it so far? It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I had a blast. Are you guys girls going to be in the costume contest tonight? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I know it's like 7, and I think it's Omaha F. So, oh, hey. most likely um, then. All right. Yeah, but, yeah. really creative. Okay. Yeah. Great. Did you make your outfits both here? All of um, your outfits, or is it some of the store bought? All the store bought. This is me. Oh, yeah. oh, I love the skulls. You know, yeah. the parasol. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we look forward to seeing you around the uh, around the convention, and we'll have more. I'm scanning so I can get a full. Okay. Yeah. A full yeah thing. We want to do that. Yes. Have fun. Are you guys going to be here this evening? We will be here yeah. all night. Oh, the rave and everything. Yeah. Oh, great. We'll be around, so don't be afraid to stop by. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank well, you. You both look fantastic. Thank you very much. And enjoy the convention. Um, if you follow the uh, Facebook page for Nebraska Anime Con, we'll be posting links when we get this all up. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Thank excellent. you. Thank you both very much. Yes, that works, Inferno. That's what I thought. Here we have this beautiful, tell us who you are, Mad Moxie. Mad Moxie. And how have you been enjoying the event? Or, it's a lot of fun. Is this your first year? No, this ah. is my, oh my gosh, um, like fifth year. Fifth year. Fifth or sixth, I lost count. Are you going to join the contest? Oh, yes. I have also made a swimsuit version of this for a swimsuit costume. Can we have you get a stand up so we can get a yes. shot of that? You can see the detail on the back of my dress, too. All right. Sure. Oh, that looks very nice. All right, if you want to turn around. so That looks fantastic. All right, excellent. All right, well. Um, thank you so much. Yes, thank you very much. And we wish you luck in the contest. Yeah, thanks.
am Inferna, and this is Lady Tord, and we're here with the guy from the Alien movie, the original. And yes. what made you come up with this costume? Well, I saw this online, and I said, you know, this would be great coming out of the chest. And then I thought, why not follow it up with the, with the face hugger, and then the spaceman outfit, generic that's, spaceman outfit. That's pretty sweet. And how often do you come here to these events? This is my first time. First? My, friend, my friend's a veteran, he brought me this time, so. Oh, there's okay. like I come two along. or three. And are you going to be in the costume contest? No, this is sto mostly store-bought, so I don't feel it's the, those kind Just of. Just for fun. Yeah, exactly, for a few laughs, not for competition, so. All right, that's that's great. Thank you that's so much. wonderful. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, that's basically it's recording. All right. All right. <laughs> so greetings, faithful followers. We're here at the uh, anime press conference with interviewing some of the uh, attendees, and obviously by your outfit, your Thor. Yes. I want from the new movie. Yeah. I, I recognize that with the big hammer and everything. So how long did all that take you to put together? Uh, long, uh, about two months of just kind of doing this in my free time and okay. you know after work, you know, days off, things like that. So are you a big, big costume cosplayer or? Uh, <laughs> I've been making my own costumes for like 10 years, uh, doing a lot of the bar contests, things like that. Okay. Are you going to be competing in the costume contest uh, tonight? If there's room. Got, a little, got here a little bit late, so if we have a dropout, I think I might be in. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you, but you, look, you both look, you and your friend that we interviewed earlier, just look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, we're going to be at the, con the costume contest, shooting a little footage, and, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys there. Awesome. All right, well, I'm Brother Jack Angry, and our show is the Angry Brothers Omaha. <laughs> I like so because he has a big hammer. Ooh. Yes, and ignore it. Don't 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 let it her bother you. She has no internal filter. <laughs> but most guys don't seem to mind. Turns out. <laughs> hey, gotta love that. All right. Well, we'll get back. We'll have more footage here in just a moment here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama. Enjoy, faithful followers. Faithful followers, this is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferno. Hi. And Sin. And we just wanted to take a moment to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, they're located at 1123 Jackson Street, which is on the back side of the old market here in downtown Omaha. We hope you'll stop by and see Smitty, the owner, and Lenny uh, and Jason, two of his best artists and they will be happy to answer all of your questions and deal with whatever your tattoo needs are, whether you're just pricing a tattoo, you have a design, or you need a design, Lenny and his artists will be happy to, uh, to draw that out and set it up to your satisfaction. And all of uh, their work is, all their work is backed by uh, Led Smitty and his artists, so you'll never go away dissatisfied from Big Brain. So be sure and check them out and tell them the Angry Brothers sent you. And if you'd like to check his webpage out, it's www.bigbrainomaha.com. Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, here with another edition of Movie Night Live from the Monastery of Mayhem. Uh, and the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama, deep in the bowels of Omaha, Nebraska. And we're coming to you live from the uh, first an annual Congregation Convention, which is a celebration of uh, nerd, comic book, and pop culture, if I remember the, uh, the press releases. Now, uh, doing the show with me today is our, lo our lovely dominatrix, Lady Torrid. Hello, everyone. Yes, and they actually had to piece bind your whip, didn't they? So we did. You they can't... consider it a weapon, only if you know how to use it right, which I do, so. Yeah, well, we'll uh -huh. have to ask Brother James about that, yeah. you know, if we can get but the ball gag. But he's tied up, which is why he's not here. Tied up. You know, with the ball gag, you know. Of course. Yeah, well, we, we won't go into that. That's a whole other show altogether. <laughs> um, but our guest, one of our guests today is the lovely Kelly Danger. Now, you are a uh, professional cosplayer, am I? Um, Correct about that? Or? I mean, I have a day job, but I love cosplay, and it's one of the things I do more than any other hobby, I guess. So. Okay, and, and what does what does someone need to be an effective cosplayer? Um, I think just the willingness to stick with it and to keep working and keep challenging themselves, because 
very few people are actually going to try something like you know sewing or armor making and be good at it the first time. Uh, so it's really just the willingness to stick with it and to keep working on it and to keep trying to improve and keep challenging yourself to do bigger and better things. Okay, and what character, uh, I'm not that up on some of the comics and <laughs> some of the anime stuff, so you'll forgive me. And for those me, of our viewers that wouldn't know who you are. Yeah, what character yes. are you supposed to be? Uh, this is Scanty from the anime called uh, Panty and Stocking with Garterbelt. And uh, this outfit is actually what she wears in the beach episode of the anime. Okay. So. All right, is that, is that, no, that's Japanese anime. It is, yes. Okay. There is an English dub. Okay, and it's called Panty and Stockings with Garterbell. Yes. Okay. And Brother Jack is already a fan, even though he's never seen never it. Never seen it. Total, love it totally. Oh, they were Musker. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it's a really outrageous show. Like, some of the stuff that they, like, have on it, you're like... I mean, I, I've, watched, I've <laughs> watched Queen's Blade, and, uh, you know, they kind of get a little outrageous with so that. So not, not necessarily, you know, kid-friendly, not that yeah. kind of anime. Yeah, like, the animation style almost looks like Powerpuff Girls, but it's like, all the humor is, like, definitely geared toward adults. Nice. Yeah, and this this must say something about Japanese culture. I haven't figured out what yet, <laughs> but, you know, it's like... Okay. But they so, might be just as kinky bastards as we are, but they're a little bit more upfront about it. You say kinky bastard like it's a bad thing. Oh no. Okay, just just checking. Says the girl with the whip. Well, no. well ever since that Fifty Shades of Grey movie came out, there's been a lot of pretenders running that was around. So boring. It's like, I actually read the books. I was not impressed. Well, yeah, really I mean, if, boring. if somebody would have asked me and I would put pen to paper and told everything I know, that book would have You would have come called, and talked to me? That book would have been called Fifty Shades of Jack, let me tell you. <laughs> or Fifty Shades of Brother Jack. But, um, so... So it would be a short story. <laughs> Guess which finger I'm holding up in my mind. And just for you, Torrid, it's like... Thumb? Yeah. Thumbs up. I have to take that crap off of Inferno, <laughs> not you. You work for me, remember? Well, you don't. No, I don't, but there are other benefits. Okay, anyway, back anyway, to you. Yes. <laughs> so, so is this like the beach volleyball? Is yeah. That just In the episode, um, Scanty and her sister Nisox have a little minion, because they're demons, and they have a minion called Fastener. And in the episode, they challenge the angels to beach volleyball, and they're losing, so they get their little minion to turn into a beach volleyball so that they can win. Oh, fun. So. So I thought I, I, I like to have props minions. to pose with. Yeah. So, I mean, well, is you, you starve all yours to death. I mean, they're all tied up down, down in the dungeon with ball gags. They're dying in droves because you're not feeding them. I feed them. We sweep up the bones every week, you know. So um, now, uh, it is, do you just pick one costume for a convention and do that, no. or do you have... When it comes to cosplay, I'm a little bit of an addict. For this weekend alone, I'm already up to four costumes that I've worn. Um, I don't have any like ones that I haven't worn yet that I plan to wear um, tomorrow. It depends on how much of the paint I can get off tonight. But uh, yeah, T typically at a convention I'll wear three different costumes. Okay. And they're usually all red. All right, and so you, you obviously make your own stuff. I do. I make all my own stuff. Okay, and uh, now what do you think about conventions uh, like this that, you know, kind of bring cosplay to... Uh, cosplay to the uh, uh, masses, as it were, I mean... I think it's great. Like, I think I think one of the um, advantages about, like, a convention like this, where it kind of encompasses everything, like, if you're into sci-fi, if you're into fantasy, if you're into anime, if you're into just video games, like, whatever you're into, you're going to find, like, other people that are into that, and then you, you'll learn about other things, and you'll find something to do. And with cosplay, I mean, with the uh, sci-fi Heroes of Cosplay series that came out recently... Do you think that cosplay is really getting more into the, the national, the mainstream launches? Definitely. Um, just within the last year, I have seen like exponential growth in like cosplay pages, um, like oh. on Facebook, on Tumblr. Like, I've been cosplaying since 2009, and just this past summer, I made my first cosplay page because I was like, you know, I've done over 30 costumes already. I might as well have a central place that I can put them so people can see them if they want to, or you know see my in-progress work and see how I make stuff just in case they want to make something similar. And, uh, okay, so do you go to just conventions nationally or do you just confine yourself to like a local area? Or? Mostly it's local. Um, I 
was in college before, I didn't start cosplaying until I was in college, and so being a poor college student, you can't really go very far, um, and so I would just go to conventions locally, and at the time, it was really only Anime Nebraska and Anime Iowa, and now, um, I mean, now this year alone, we have like three first year conventions. Yeah, it's like Om Om Comic Con, this one, yeah. and I... Earlier this year, there was Unconventional Convention. Ah, okay, that's the one I, that's yeah. the one I keep forgetting. Um, so will we see you with uh, Anime Nebraska? Anime, anime, anime. Absolutely. I'm trying to decide what my costume line is going to be. Well, that's at the end of October, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you got a little time to, to think yeah. about it. Well, uh, I do want to thank you for talking to us, and yeah. you look fantastic, thank by you. the way. And uh, we will get back to the movie, um, which is going to be Blood Diner here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama. So, coming to you from Congregation, enjoy and unpleasant dreams. Enjoy. Well, greetings, faithful followers. W welcome back. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. We're bringing you another really fine cosplay. Yeah with Lady Torrid. It's like... Hi, everyone. It's like you're going to be injuring me with that whip later on, aren't you? you yes, know? I so, will. You know it. And I don't even get to ask for loot for it, right? Don't forget the real talent. Well, Inferno's not here. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Oh. It's like Brother Jack's going to get... You will pay for that one later. Brother Jack's going to get seriously injured. I hope I have the number of a good proctologist. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm going to need to get something removed. Don't you? Because I thought that's how you usually got your head removed. Oh. <laughs> oh, in your dreams. Yeah, Go on. Later, later. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Um, sorry, got off the, on that rant there. Uh, we have you? another w really fantastic cosplayer here. And, you know, it's like, and if you could see everything from my view, views, guys, suffer. And for the um, red-headed hack in the lab coat, fuck you. Anyway, um, all right, again, okay. we're off on the as, she, as he digresses, as I digress. go ahead and explain so who you are. Introduce yourself. <laughs> yes. sure. My name is Lacey. I am part of the cosplay group Serenity Sirens. Um, I'm actually just doing a fun version of Princess Peach, a very well-known character, so she's one of my favorites. And I'm just doing the bunny version. Yeah, that's Princess Peach after she went to Las Vegas for a couple of weeks. I mean, once she ditched Mario, she could express herself more. Well, it's like, who wants a... Oh, honey, we've all been there. <laughs> who, wants a, who wants a Guido anyway? You know, it's like, Guido's, you know, what do you need him for? But anyway, so tell Long us a little service. bit about yourself. Um, you did say you were... Uh, you, uh, you are part of a uh, cosplay group out of yes. Iowa City? Uh -huh. Okay. Absolutely. And how long have you been into that? Um, this is going on my fourth year of and I go to what ranges about five to ten conventions a year. Do you do it nationally or? Um, usually I stick in the Midwest, although I might check out Anime Expo this year. Okay, yeah. and so um, obviously that's the, these co these conventions are not uh, are somewhat expensive propositions. Yes. <laughs> do you do you finance yourself or do you like do. do go fund me campaign? Or? No, I just save all my money and. You know, most girls, they like to go out and buy dresses. I go out and buy cosplay costumes. It's where all my investments go. And as opposed to Tor, who goes out and buys whips and... I like that. And, <laughs> yeah. You boots. know, boots. <laughs> Spankers and... <laughs> but I just the important that. thing. Yes. And that every dumb nature <laughs> Yes, well, we're not going there. But anyway, so now, um, you did say that you're part of a burlesque group. Is that right? Yes. So, tell us about that. What, what does all that mean? Oh, about? yeah, I'm part of the Dom Stew Burlesque, which is located in Iowa City, Iowa. Um, it's really fun. It's a way that women can express themselves and very, uh, it's very uh, intimate is the best word I guess I can use for it. Um, it's very sophisticated. Um, it's a way that performers like me, like I really enjoy dancing. Um, I usually actually do a lot of theater, so I kind of just migrated over it to a solo, more solo career there. And But you can dance yourself, you can perform, you can come up with a million ideas. Like just recently I did a doll comes to life dance. Um, it's very fun. And do you incorporate like some of the traditional bonus props like pans and the boa and all that? No, I haven't. Usually I just stick with the chair. 
Yeah. Just I do cheer dances the most. But um, yeah, I absolutely do love going to the band. I know our group leader was thinking about just doing. Well, yeah, you know, the <laughs> typical, the traditional gypsy lo rose lee, the fan dance, and all that kind yes. of thing. And that's just telling everybody how old I am. No, nah, it's like, beautiful. Okay. Nothing fishing, though. Well, it's like, you know, and obviously you are a gorgeous girl. I mean, yeah. um, and you are going to be competing in the swimsuit competition here Thank later you. tonight, and we will be getting that, some of that on film, and, you know, um, and we'll, you know, definitely be rooting for you. Um, so now... I have a question. Yes. So do you... What other than like the, the fun beach, what else yeah. have you dressed up as? Or do you have oh, gosh. like certain, I mean, do you have, how, how many do you have? In your oh, million. Record? I have awesome. a closet dedicated just to cosplays. I'm obsessed, I guess, with the Nothing wrong with that. And there's a second girl that said that. Yeah, yeah. the last one we interviewed also used the word obsessed. It's amazing, and you can express yourself again, like, for there's a character that you've always wanted to be. Like, I've always looked up the Peach, like, I've always really liked her, and it's one that I get to be here, so we can do different versions. Um, but yeah, no, yesterday I did Seiko from High School of the Dead. Okay, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, and so, um... The little schoolgirl outfit? Not really little, more like killing zombie outfit. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I mean. You and mean. then will you be back tomorrow? Yeah, I'm doing May Rumi from Naruto. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 okay. Amazing. Hun, did I give you your bed? Oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't want it to um, yeah. get in the way covered yeah. at all. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> well, fortunately, I don't have to worry about that. Nobody wants to see mine. <laughs> you know, thank God. But, There's a reason Brother Jack is completely covered head to toe. Yes. When I die, I am leaving my body to science fiction. <laughs> but so, um, okay, so now obviously you have a facebook page i'm assuming yes. and you said you have a you have some uh you said you could pick whatever you like so this is your chance there you go oh no i said it at the beginning oh, it's just okay. serenity sirens okay serenity sirens yeah. say it again because they may have been like serenity sirens like mermaids because we're mermaids well mo <laughs> yeah. most of our viewers they're they're hearing kind of blanks after the first few minutes anyway i'm sure all the no i'm sure the first we should few be minutes they were like Oh, oh, wait, she's talking? Wait, she has a head. <laughs> wait, they have heads. Sure that's what our, our <laughs> yes, viewers. Like, you know, they, they, don't, they don't tune into this. Not going to complain. Talk. Yeah, it's like, no, no, we, we cater to a very core group, you know. It's like, there ain't too much subtlety in this bit, people. I mean, this, you know, this is why you watch. This is why we're here. You know, keep those cards and letters and donations coming in. But, um... But you do look great, and we do want to thank yeah. you so much for taking the time. No, it's so much fun. Uh, it's nice meeting you. We're going to be walking around the uh, convention here, trying to get some more interviews going, and you know, try to find some more of uh, the great cosplayers here. We're going to hopefully be doing an interview with uh, C.J. Morrison. Uh, no problem. Oh. Or Jim. C.J., you've got yeah. the two. So, good thing I'm wearing panties today. That's not again. <laughs> damn. Regretful. That's, I know. Damn it. That's, that's not usually that's my go-to, and my two skirts two. line up. Brother that's, Jack can't catch a break and today. That's, <laughs> but um, no, Jim, to say uh, I'm Jim Morrison so. and <laughs> C.J. Bergner, the organizers of the convention, we're, gonna be, we're hoping that we're going to be interviewing uh, one or both of them. Uh, before you know, before the day is done, and we'll be bringing you more, and we'll get back to the movie Blood Diner here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Well, greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back. Uh, we're in, I'm Brother Jack Angry, along with Lady Torrent, and in our continuing coverage of the congregation, the first annual congregation uh, convention here in Omaha, which is a celebration of. Uh, anime, comic book, nerd, geek culture, uh, and a, a few other things that escape me at the moment. We're, we have our, with us our uh, lovely guest here, April Rally, who is the official mascot and the public face of the convention. So April, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about uh, congregation and what it means to you? And All right, well, congregation being its first year, it is the uh, prime and premier geek and nerd uh, convention for the Omaha area and surrounding areas as well. We've got people as far as uh, Austin, Texas that came up and uh, far and wide. We've got people from out in Colorado, California, um, all the way out to the East Coast. So that's, that's pretty awesome. 
We did interview uh, Kelly Danger and Lacey, uh, two of the uh, really great cosplayers. Uh, yes. A couple of lovely girls, uh, both inside and out, you know. Um, we interviewed them and, you know, it's like, uh, we we're noticing that, you know, the cosplay is, a lot of cosplayers do come from all around to, to go to these events. Um, okay. Uh, uh, and these events, sorry, lost Feel my train. Yeah. He's easily distracted yes, by shiny like, objects. Yes, it's or like, sorry, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the squirrel in me, you know, it's like, shiny. <laughs> but anyway, um, so now, you, how long have you been cosplaying? I've been cosplaying now about three years. Um, recently, though, moved to Omaha and got involved with the Omaha Sexy Nerd Society. Who Great group, she love them. that if you go to the Omaha Sexy Nerd Society am, and you their join their group, there she is. There's the logo. Uh, yeah, and so when I moved to Omaha, I got involved with them, got involved with the Omaha Sexy Nerd Society, and uh, was asked to play the mascot for the convention. And April Rally is the uh, is the mascot. That's yep, that is the mascot's name. My uh, April Rally. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds uh, that sounds like a name an actress in a whole <laughs> different kind of movie should be using. You know. It's it's kind of funny. Uh, my my superpowers are the powers to rally ner nerds um, of all different genres together. And she always makes her hit role. And she always makes her hit roles too. I do. <laughs> you know, she can do wonders with a pair of twenty sided die. You, you'd be impressed. Uh, okay, that's way okay, So you've been cosplaying for three years. Yes. What other characters or co what do you? What else do you like to do? Um, well, one of my very first cosplays ever was actually Poison Ivy. Um, I did a uh, an original take on her because um, I, I naturally am a junior, so I like to do redheaded characters. Sure. Um, I've also done Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. I've done Ariel quite a few times. I've recently started doing Merida from Brave and Anna from Frozen. Along with, I have like Care Bears and Carrie Kelly from the Earth 31 comic series. So I'm kind of your all over nerd. Um, I love comic books, I love movies, I love you know sci-fi, fantasy, that sort of stuff. So I love characters that are um, like strong women characters that I can embrace and portray. Okay. And now, yeah. uh, woman power, I'm all for it. Yeah, why am I feeling, I'm feeling <laughs> totally outnumbered. Oh, did you almost say you're feeling really small? There would be a reason for that. <laughs> Again, you bitch. <laughs> that's why you love me. Yes, that's why I tolerate you. <laughs> you know that, and it's like, where am I gonna find, where am I gonna find something that looks like that and works for Nowhere. free? You know? I'm an original. You're welcome. Well, you know how many Craigslist ads I'd have to answer to find somebody like you? <laughs> and I bet they'd have a penis. So, good and luck with that. you probably would get murdered halfway through. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, we won't go into that one. <laughs> No, too many bad memories. But uh, now, speaking of the uh, Omaha Sexy Nerd Society, now they are, that group is kind of, uh, they embrace obviously the whole comic book, the whole geek yes, culture. Nerds. But what separates them from some of the other nerd slash geek groups here? Um, something that really, uh, you know, distinguishes the Omaha Sexy Nerd Society from every other, you know, like nerd and geek group out there is they are all inclusive. We are one gigantic family. Basically, there's nobody that's going to be turned away for being a geek or not, or being too geeky or too nerdy. We're just going to embrace you. No before. such thing. There is no such thing. Everyone is welcome in the Omaha Sexy Nerd Society. Well, that's great. I mean, that's, that's, that really sounds really fantastic. And, uh, you know, I've been a part of that group, um, you know, since it was, almost since it was founded. I think I got into it just like a little bit after it was, uh, it was founded. Um, but yeah, and so now, are you going to be uh, you're going to be here throughout the whole convention? I will be. Yes, I will be here throughout the convention, and I will also be going on a uh, con tour with the founder of the Omaha Sex and Nerd Society, Jim Morrison, this summer. We'll be hitting up a couple other cons to promote um, Congregation 2016. Okay, and well, we'll definitely be promoting that, you know, and we'll we'll get to talk to Jim more about that uh, when we when we get him out here to do an interview, you know, it's like he oh, yeah. was... And I have permission to spank him, so... Yes, him, she has so. all the permission ah. she wants. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm not going there, and if we film that, you know, that's a whole different thing, a whole different ball of wax. I'm not getting involved <laughs> Ooh, with I that. didn't bring my wax or my candles. Eh? Okay. 
That's okay. Fine. Maybe next time behind closed doors. We had a moment and you fucked it up. <laughs> okay? I want you to own it. Embrace it. You screwed it up. Totally. All the time. Yes. Why should now be any no, different? No, this is true. It's like, and stay out of the bathrooms. <laughs> Private joke, people. Kill you for that later. <laughs> oh. We'll, anyway. We'll bleep that out. Moving on. Moving no, you on. won't. That's fine. Uh, I don't know how to bleep anything I got called to the carpet on it, so that's fine. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I gotta be me. Duty happens, you know. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get back to the movie. I'm Brother Jack Angry, along with Lady Torrid and April Rally. We're going to get back to the movie Blood Diner from 1988, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shocker Rock. Enjoy. Enjoy. Faithful followers, this is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Lady Torrid, Hello. and uh, this, uh, this lovely lady here. Um, this is Lacey Neal, and uh, you've got a pretty uh, impressive list of titles. And uh, the one I know is your Miss Steampunk USA. Is Miss World Steampunk. Miss World Steampunk. Oh, nice. Not Miss Steampunk USA. Miss but World. Miss World. Okay. Get it right. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. So, He's um, really not. <laughs> no, believe me, many people have said it, including my own sister-in-law, but we won't go into that. Email um, addresses. Yes. So, um, Lacey, so you are here to judge some of the comp costume contests and some of the events here? I right? am. I am here as a cosplay guest. I am helping judge the cosplay contest and the swimsuit contest later tonight. And um, we will be there filming some of that, mm -hmm. you know, it's like... You can't be in sexy nerds and bees. Um, even try. <laughs> and then I'm also here with the local burlesque troupe, the Hot Tail Honey. We will hopefully be interviewing them. Yes. That's a hint. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'll draw, I'll let them know. All right, thank you. And um, we had a performance last night, and we'll be having another one here in about half an hour. And it's all nerd-themed burlesque strips, um, which is something new to Omaha convention scene. So we're excited. We're getting really good reactions. Nerd-themed burlesque. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just Nerd exercise, burlesque. you know, exercise your shoulder a little bit. Don't want any work-related injuries. <laughs> Have that tube of Ben Gay standing by, people. And I told you we work blue on this show. <laughs> you know, it's like, it gets better, believe me. So, um, okay, you're now you're Miss World Steampunk. Now, what exact? And I love your outfit. I love the goggles and the whole ensemble. It looks and the corset is just fantastic. I mean, that is just beautiful. I mean, the corset is from a company called Brute Force Leather. Okay. And he also made the fan. Oh, nice. Oh, that is that is beautiful. Are these local companies or? Um, Brute Force is out of Pennsylvania okay. and Blond Swan's out of Ohio. Okay. And I got them in Detroit, so. My <laughs> um, <laughs> American, everyone. <laughs> um, and then my skirts and all my understructure and everything, I made myself. You can't really tell, nice. but it's, it's a beautiful. full bustle. Yeah. But it looks, it looks Great. fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, our, one of our girls, Ash, is uh, big into the corseting, and I think she's got herself down to like a 13-inch waist or something. Wow. She does the really extreme yeah, stuff. Yeah, the tightly I mean. same. Um, and, well, she uses the steel bone, steel bones in the corset, not whale bone or plastic or anything like that. She goes for the, the real steel, as yeah. it were. Um, but now, um, th now, how did you get to be Miss World Steampunk? Was it like where you... Uh, in like a contest? Or? Well, yeah, it, I had just, just discovered that there were other people out there into steampunk and discovered that it had a name and, and that I'm not crazy and alone in my obsession with Victorian There's science fiction. There's that word again, an obsession. Yes. An obsession. Yes. You're the third one to tell <laughs> us that. <laughs> you know, you become passionate and obsessed. And so I discovered this world and this community of people that all express ourselves and we can come to events like this and be one another. So steampunk, the way I got into that and got my uh, title, as it were, um, was we a bunch of people were going up to a convention in Detroit and it was one of the biggest steampunk conventions at the time. It has since kind of fizzled out and um, they were having a pageant and my friends told me to enter and I wasn't going to enter. I'm not a pageant girl. And they just spent weeks pestering me and pestering me. So I finally entered, and um, I got 
in the top five, and I won. The rest is history. And I won. Now, you belong to uh, a group called the Steampunk Society of Omaha. It's of Nebraska. Of Nebraska. The Steampunk Society of Nebraska. I know they have like a big ball every year about right around New Year's Eve or just We do. We have, we have a couple, actually. We have um, a Valentine's social right around Valentine's Day every year. Um, and then we have a military-themed ball in September, and we always have a holiday ball as well. And then beyond that, we have little events about once a month. We meet once a month casually to discuss upcoming things we're going to do. We go on picnics. We walk around the old market. And um, we're actually pretty big. We have almost 2,000 members, if not more. And they're from all over the world. They're not just from Nebraska because we're a very picture-heavy group. So we have a lot of supporters um, in the community from all over the world. And, okay, and the whole steampunk thing has been kind of getting more and more popular over the last several years, and what, what do you attribute that to? I mean, is it just... Oh, uh, I think, um, I think it's a really cool look. Well, yeah, I mean, the goggles uh, and the hats, yeah. I mean, that does it, you know. You know, you kind of feel badass, and it's a different way of getting to get all dressed up, but still be a little rough with things. And in, in the costuming and cosplay community, I think it's trendy because it's not... You don't have to be 100% perfect, you know, if, if you, like Ren Fairs where you have to be completely perfect, um, we, we don't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, the SCA and some yeah. of them organizations, you know, the uptight, you know, it's like, well, I mean, up and enjoy just stick, being what you want. The yes! Stick, the stick up your butt about so long. Well, I wouldn't say that, but they are very particular about their costumes. Stick up the butt, people. So, I love about steampunkers and steampunk, uh, and that's why I think it uh, appeals to people who wouldn't normally do costumes or cosplay because they can, it's relatable to people. You know, they're like, oh, Wild, wild West, or you know, they see something it's, in it that It incorporates them. several periods out of history, and it's yeah. got the military look because a lot, let's face it, a lot of guys like the pseudo. Well, you know, period military, as somebody once said on my favorite show, Torchwood, period military is not the hallmark of straight individual. You know, I just love military uniforms and, you know, and so, you know, you can, you can, is it that you can incorporate steampunk into just about anything, any look? Or? More or less, I mean, um, I have a panel tomorrow where I talk about um, incorporating different cosplays and I talk about steampunk Harry Potter, I talk about uh, steampunk Dread Pirate Roberts from the Princess Bride. Um, I really love that you can take characters that already have an established kind of personality and then you can put your Victorian twist to it. Hmm. So, I, yeah. How long have you been doing the steampunk? It, it kind of depends. In a way, my whole life, uh, because I've always been to, into the aesthetic. Um, but I didn't discover that other people did it and that it had a label um, until about 2008, 2007. So, yeah, I, remember, <laughs> I remember they did a whole episode on like the TV series Castle that, about that, steampunk that kind of really, uh, and after that it just seemed like it exploded. The, the gentleman who made all of the accessories for that is the same gentleman who made this, oh, Thomas wow. Willerford from Bruce with Group Works. Wow. And he's actually in that episode. Okay. Well, Lacey, I know that you said you have to go judge the contest, I do. so we're not going to take up we're not going to take up any more of your time. And thank you for taking. You'll get in there and they'll be like, "Why are you bad? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm sorry." Yeah, the Angry Brothers, Shanghai. You just say you were kidnapped by the Angry Brothers. It was horrible. <laughs> yes, and no cosplayers were harmed in, during the filming of this episode. Yeah, we'll shut the camera off. <laughs> yeah, it's like she's got a whip and everything, you know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Lacey, and thank we're going to get back to the movie Blood Diner here on the Angry Brothers Omaha shop Rama. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. And along with Lady Torrid, our dominatrix of desire. Hello, everyone. And this gentleman to my left is CJ America Bergner. 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 That's right. Uh, he is the co chair of the congregation convention, and he was kind enough to take uh, time enough to speak to us. So, CJ, I mean, you've done a wonderful job with the convention, you and all your staff. Um, so this is the first, obviously, the first time for con for congregation. This is our first year. That's so, correct. So I mean, any any thoughts on all that? I mean, do you see it? Did everything has everything lived up to your expectations? No, I mean, I, I still feel like I'm uh, I'm in a moment of shock. 
Like it's still like you still feel like for the last year and a half, Jim Morrison and I and all our volunteers have been working ourselves to the bones to put the uh, convention together, and it's finally here. But it went from being the convention's a year from now, the convention's six months from now, the convention's next week, the convention's tomorrow, the convention is now. And while it's going around, we've worked so hard that nothing bad has happened. It's all good. Everyone's having a great time. We're packed. We get more than we thought we were going to get. It's um, Actually, you're good. If you need to come in, come ahead. It is actually, uh, we're turning out very successful. We expected 300 people. Right now, we're sitting at 450. That's 150 more than we expected. And people are still piling in through the doors. It's yes. incredible. And I think you're probably going to have a good day tomorrow, too. As, even though it is the end of the convention and they're kind of shutting down. Um, now, we've interviewed so many great cosplayers here. Uh, the uh, Obviously, the cosplay thing has been a big part of this convention. Um, your, the numbers, so how are the numbers looking right now? Oh man, the numbers, I think that's the best part. Do you, um, did you ever have a birthday party? You guys ever have your own little birthday party, throw your own little events, you know? Hush, yeah. Hush, good times, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then right before the party happens, you have that moment like, oh no, God, no, no one's gonna show, show up. up. <laughs> it no, happened, like that is exactly what happened. Um, James, uh, is, um, James, our, our head of security was with me. And um, for, um, for the first uh, for the first part of the convention, like when I say the first part, my, the convention for me began a long time ago. But I arrived at the hotel on Thursday, and so the hotel's empty and everything's set up. I'm like, oh my god, nobody's gonna show up. And now the halls are packed. When you look there, there's even people out there wandering around. Um, it's it's completely uh, it's busier than you can, uh, than we anticipated. It's lovely. I'm I'm ecstatic about the whole thing. Your gaze is a little distracted there. Oh, yeah, it's like, sorry, it's yeah. a He's senior moment. He's easily distracted you know, by shiny, anything. Shiny, shiny. 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 Squirrel. Um, squirrel, yes. I'm having a squirrel moment. Um, uh, okay, now, the... Uh, you can go that way. The uh, okay. convention, so obviously, I mean, you've worked very hard at it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, this, uh, we have the other conventions that are, you know, Omaha, like OzFest, Anime, Nebraska Anime Con, we've got... O Comic Con coming up. That's correct. In, next uh, month. Next month, mm -hmm. and uh, we've got like PresCon and a few gaming conventions. Oh yeah, well, well yeah, that's right. I mean, I forgot about it. So like, um, so we start the year off with unconventional. Okay, now we're not sure if they're having a second year, but they're saying so far things are looking strong for them. Then in uh, April, Congregation. May is O Comic Con. Now throughout the summer, I might mix dates up, but you have New Con, Ozfest, uh, Britfest. And then to end the season in the first week of November is Anime Nebraska. And I also work staff with them as well, too. It's a lot of fun. I love the convention. Yeah, it's a great there. convention, oh, without yeah. a doubt. I've been going to cons for seven years now, and I've been to over 40 of them. And I have to attribute my, um, when I go there, I always talked, I had always ended up talking to staffers, always put myself to work, you know, volunteering. And um, I, that's where I learned a lot of how to put this together. And, and you know, I couldn't even imagine the, the sheer amount of work that goes into something like this. I mean, it, you make it look easy from what I've seen. Uh, you know, I've, obviously I'm not, I'm not, but we've I'm seen not you running around, the, you and him. Yeah, I'm not running around. You know, Brother Jack it's is like not just setting part. this up. It's like, okay, well, give me five minutes. Give me, okay, I'll meet you at eight thirty. I'll yeah. meet you at nine. So we know you've been really busy, and we and really appreciate it. Brother you. Jack is not part of the inner circle. Yeah. Obviously, this is not easy by it's any. Like, some people think I could teleport. What, what, you have to figure out the hotel routine so you can cut through walls and actually go to places. That's the best part about a convention. There's doors in every one of those walls. So I, I'm in Bascon chair or anyone on staff. I just cut straight through, so I'm able to get from You're one like, place to another. He was here just. It's like. Well, then we got here. He's like Batman, you know. He's yeah. gone here one minute, gone the next. We so. were talking to Jim, and then he was like, had to go put out a fire. There was a speaker not working, so. Yeah, I was there for that. I was taking care of that too. Yeah. I, I, it's uh, the speakers we have. First year convention, tight budget, but we made it. We we made it work. Yeah, and that's it, sort of everything thing. looked great. And and speaking of uh, the budgeting, um, have you ever thought about using like a GoFundMe kind of model to raise some money for the I have. I, I, I've been I've been raised that. I've um, I've had. Um, I've had a lot of people recommend that to me, and I do believe it would be successful. However, I don't know if it's my pride, or perhaps it might be just my pride. I, I don't want to do a GoFundMe. I'm capable of going out there. Um, I work uh, 70 hours a week, um, and uh, I have a, a full-time job, and then I also work with the Omaha Sex and Nerd Society, Congregation, the Hot Tell Honeys, our burlesque troupe, um, Anime Nebraska, and there's a few other con circuits. I'm actually touring this summer as an MC from going from Kansas City to other conventions, and so are the troupe. Um, I don't do GoFundMe because I can fund myself, and if I work hard enough, though, the benefits yeah. will pay so off. Yeah, I don't need them. <laughs> do it. <laughs> well, we're, I'm very stubborn. We're using I'm GoFundMe to raise money for Brother James's teeth, so it's like, there donate! You there you go, there you go. He needs new teeth, people. It's horrible. He looks like, uh, he looks like something that came out of Council Bluffs. He looks like... Me. 
He, we're, we're twins, okay? <laughs> but anyway. So imagine um, this, yeah, but... Yeah, mm. it's like, okay. <laughs> but and then, why isn't Brother James here? Um, because he has to go home and keep the great no, beast. No, because he's... He has to be at home keeping the great beast happy, but that's... I don't want to think about that. I, I, I gotta get I have him locked up again. Yes, and yeah, the ball gag, yes. You know, I gotta feed him when we get home, otherwise he's gonna starve to death, but... That's right. That's, that's neither here nor there. I love ball gags. I've got five of them at home. Good toys. I mean, what? Anyway, go on. I mean, what? Um, what, are, what, a ball gag? what the heck is what a ball gag? What is a ball gag? I don't <laughs> have a clue. Yeah. But anyway, the, um, you know, we've interviewed so many that. great <laughs> cosplayers here. Um, Kelly Dangerous, uh, Lacey Neal, uh, Lacey Pop... I hope I'm pronouncing her. Pop- I call her Lacey Paparazzi. Pronouncing her last name, I gave up on you. Yeah, it's show. like, I, it, it looks easy, but I, I, it won't come out of my mouth properly. But anyway, um, gorgeous girls, all of them. I mean, um, I've rec- actually recommended this con- this convention to several of my cosplayer pen- friends in Florida. The um, nationally known TC Dangerous, but, you know, she we, she couldn't swing the trip up here. And, mm. you know, we're hoping next year. I'll keep working on her. And, it's, uh, yeah, and that's also what comes with being a first-year convention. Um, it, it's Is it worth traveling out to because will they survive for the next year? First-year conventions, that's, you know, that's why our attendance. Like, I'm ecstatic about 450, but I work on Anime Nebraska, and we're expecting 6,000 people. Well, yeah, but Anime Nebraska's got the, um, it's it's been around for so oh, 11 years. Uh, so much longer. I mean, and every year it gets a little larger, so I'm looking for that model is going to apply here. And yeah. Nebraska's model is based off a convention called uh, Detour in uh, Minneapolis, mm-hmm. which is based off a convention called for Convergence in Minneapolis. Convergence has been around for 16 years. Elite, I do not know how old Detour is. I don't want to be misquoted. So we're basing ourselves a little bit off Nebraska and a little bit off of a convention in Kansas City called NACACON. We're looking at models on how we so look at So you're kind of using the best of each of uh, I took a little bit of everything I liked. The key was not to, when you go to a convention, don't watch what works, watch what doesn't work. And then you make your model off of that and you get a completely original model. But we also duplicated a few things here and there. I'll definitely say well, so. It's, uh, Is there anything that you feel you'd do different next year? Anything uh, that didn't really work? Or? Yeah, uh, the Hot Tail Honeys will not be performing uh, the cosplay competition uh, to next year. Uh, the 18 plus show we did last night was amazing. 21 acts, laser That's rooms. What we heard. That's what we heard. If you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you liked what you saw today, that was nothing. That was salt of the earth compared. Now, don't be wrong, it was still amazing, but it was nothing compared to last night. And um, on top of that, because we are a family friendly convention, we tried it out just a family, more vaudeville style of uh, mm-hmm. entertainment. But we're going to keep it as an 18 plus only thing. Um, and it's exclusive. We're the only convention I know of that has Mirror Blast, and that's pretty Hey, cool. you got to love that. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, and when, yeah, you were doing your, when you were doing yeah, your, uh, you. your uh, presentation for the, uh, the, the cosplay thing, I mean, you were talking about the family. Uh, I apologize. Keep going on. Uh, I just family really friendly. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and, and you were saying a family friendly, and you might have heard a voice in the back going, boo. That was me. That, was me. <laughs> that would be Brother Jack. No, that's good. You've got, I'm, I'm letting you know, I have to be at a Q&A panel for uh, the Hot Sundays in well, 10 minutes. We'll, just, we'll wrap this no, up. No, 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 no. I actually want to answer the question. You're fine. I assure uh, you. I don't want to ever rush oh, anyone. No, no, no. And, uh, and that's fine. I get that. You know, family friendly is what you were going to ask, okay. right? Well, yeah. It's like, I, I'm, I'm, we're all for family friendly, even though it's not uh, a vein that we follow on our show. I mean, we are more, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like, we are more adult oriented in our humor. I mean, I obviously, I mean, I have the, uh, what? Lo- what? What are you saying? I have the lovely girls. I'm saying I'd love to use those as pillows. I'm sorry, that slipped out wrong. <laughs> Come here, honey. Aww. Yes, it's like, does anybody else want to... <laughs> <laughs> this is the deal. We are party central after 9 p.m. Before 9 p.m., we're family friendly. We want to appeal, and that's because I didn't want to just appeal to the animal, wild uh, party animals. I wanted to make sure that you. Can, this is a place you can bring your kids. Yes, exactly. We actually um, have children's entertainment from, like, um, forgive me, 10 a.m. all the way down to 3 p.m. So there's a place to put your kids. And they have their own unique schedule, which includes trips around the convention. We show them. Uh, we teach them video games, guests of honor. Yeah, I, I came Disney. in on the scavenger hunt. When oh, yeah, the scavenger hunt. That was great. We, I remember hunting the Easter eggs for that, actually. That was fun. It's it's not about just me and what I want. It's what everyone wants. you got to be able to look back and go, how can I appeal to a big audience that's greater than myself? Well, you've, done a, you've done a magnificent job, and, and you know, definitely... Um, you know, I'm, you know, speaking for me personally as Brother Jack Angry and, you know, as a member of the local media, you did, a, you and your people have done a fantastic job and, you know, I will sing your praises all anywhere that I can. Thank you. In, in regards to this because it was, I mean, we, 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 we both felt welcome, you know, we 
everything was great. I mean, um, you know, every, if you stopped to ask one of the staffers a question, you got always got a polite answer. You got an got and, lots you of got, great interviews. Yes, we got Everybody some fantastic was, really, interviews. was more than happy to be was yeah. more than happy to oblige us. So yeah, so it's like, and and we can't thank you all enough. I mean. Um, Con congregation. Well done. Yes, Not well that done. we're anybody, but well done. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that, 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 that's the one thing I will never ever ever look down on anyone. Everyone's an equal. It's uh, we're only worth the work that we put into life. Well, that's that's true. I mean, and and we've you know worked the show uh, for like almost four years now. This October will be our fourth year. Congratulations. And, well, we produced almost 300 episodes. I actually did a count, so we're at like 270 right now. Yeah, I don't know. I've watched like 12. Oh. I only watched the ones I'm in. Could you yeah. say, do you have any uh, links that you could send me? And what yeah. website do you post this? Um, well, this will go on Vimeo. This will go on YouTube. Uh, this will go on, well, it will be displayed on KPAO, which is Cox 22 here in Omaha. Nice. Um, it, we're also on like five Roku channels. So this will go national. And we are on seven public access networks across the country. Wow, that's amazing. Well, so, hello, planet Earth. We hope that sometime <laughs> you can uh, grace us with your presence. Come out to Alma, Nebraska, Congregation Genesis. And if you get any, if you are in town, make sure to check out the Hot Tail Honeys, the best of burlesque in the Midwest. Now, we have the best in sass class and ass sets. We have corsets and brassieres. I don't know how to spell brassiere, but I know what it looks like when a hot tail honey takes it off, and it's something you're going to want to see for yourself. Nice. I love I love his voice. <laughs> yeah. I love that voice. You know, um, obviously, well, you're a DJ, of course. You know, you got to have a good voice. But you know, we're not going to keep you any longer here, CJ. But I want to thank thank you for taking the time. You know, and, and the, the technical glitches we've had and uh -huh. um, everything, and you know, taking the if time. If something to, didn't go wrong, it wouldn't it'd be, be my fault. Yeah. If it's something like, didn't go wrong, it wouldn't be. Yeah, it wouldn't be the Angry Brothers. Brothers. If we didn't fuck up somewhere, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, but thank you for taking the time to see Thank you for having us. It was nice and, to yes, you know, thank you so thank much. You Real prince people. <laughs> prince among men. Thank you. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night. And Bye. we'll get back to the movie Blood Diner here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Enjoy. Faithful followers, this is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Brother James, hey. here at the 2017 Anime Nebraska here in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we've got two, uh, uh, obviously, two cosplayers and con goers here. So, uh, can you want to just, uh, you know, tell us about your characters or uh, give your name? I'm Sissa Cosplay. I'm cosplaying as Sue. I'm Tanabee's Paper Cosplay, and I'm cosplaying as Sato. Okay, and uh, so, you know, obviously, these costumes for both of you look pretty elaborate. I mean, you love the makeup and everything. Generally, how much effort is this? How long does it take to get Coming to you 
live from the 2017 Anime Nebraska. Things are looking up. Yes, things are looking up. The evening is improving. Uh, so we've got this lovely lady here. And uh, so why don't you just tell us a little bit about your cosplay? Well, my cosplay is Yoka from Near Animati. And it's a video game. And I'm actually a police person or a police woman or a policeman because I'm a female show. I'm later there. <laughs> You're a policeman. Does that mean you I'm, have handcuffs? Not on me, but I will search you. Put me first. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh Keeper. So. Definitely. The evening is looking up, people. So, um, so you said you were from Grand Island. Yes. Right? And do you do much cosplay? Uh, um, I do. I do cosplay. I also do Renaissance fairs. I make. Well, excellent. So I make most of my stuff. Do you do like monks boats? Yes. Now, I definitely am going to need to go and touch you because, you know... Red. Oh. Hold on. All right. Well, he's taking a phone call. Uh, so you do... Uh, yes, I do. Uh-huh. This is actually a... Uh, Four planning. We'll be here till Monday. All 
have to try to get some for the weekend. I just got to get a few printed up. But anyway, we're going to get back to greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, and James, and Brother James, along with uh, Blood Rain. Blood Rain. Uh, she was our one of our show ghouls at the uh, uh, 2016 Zombie Walk. Uh, her and Zombie Elvira were kind. And she was kind enough to uh, give us an interview real quick. So, how have you been doing? I've been doing good. That's, all right, well, that's excellent. So it's nice to see you at the con here. Um, Almost didn't make it. Yeah, I, I know. I think I, we're, we're friends on Facebook, and it sounded like you were having some uh, issues here. Don't use that one. I'm definitely glad to see you. So um, your costume, is this another Blood Rain? It sure is. This is her ball gown from Are the second game. Are you guys just in the first scene of the second video game, in which she infiltrates a uh, private ball uh, to assassinate her brother. Ah, okay, well, I... Yeah, assassinating your brother. Hmm, there's a thought. There's a thought. Uh, it's like, I'd be lost without him. I mean, it's like, who else is going to supply the booze? And speaking of, you know, it really bites that we can't get any booze in here. We're going to have to sneak something in. You know, no, not, talk to the right people. I'm sure I'll find oh, I'm sure. It's like there's probably all kinds of parties going on around here where we can get that. But, you know, we don't condone uh, excessive drinking. But it will be graded, people. But anyway, so um, so you said you were going to be in the cosplay contest and you've got a photo shoot. Yes. Is it uh, what sort of photo shoot? I mean, yeah, it, I'm keeping that one quiet for right now until I'm ready to uh, announce it and share. Uh, I'm in the cosplay contest with my friends Team Three Star. We are in the masters category for the skit competition, hoping to win for two years in a row. Don't let the girl have no directions. All right, well that's excellent. You know, we'll definitely have to check that out. And when is that going? To be tomorrow? Tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what time yet. There's a whole bunch of things going on with the contest and the photo shoots. So I'm pretty much keeping playing it by ear. All right. Well, excellent. All right. So uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Uh, you look great. And, um, you know, I will see you around the con. Sure will. All right. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, behind the camera this time. We're interviewing more of the great cosplayers here at the first annual Oak Comic Con here in Council Bluffs and uh, Inferna. And uh, we have our new devil girl, Vita. And we have a character from the comic Jane, I'm going to be a star. Yes, you are, Jane. You just don't realize it. <laughs> and from what, everything I can see, a damn good one, too. But So, uh, Jane, is this the first time you've been to uh, a Comic-Con, or you go, I'm really willing be willing to bet you've been to others before. Is this the first time you've been, get ring the name recognition out, is this the first time you've been filmed to be on TV as a star? Yes, yes I usually am on the stage. Well, uh, you know, we could do other filming, but the only place it'll be seen is in Mexico. I'll have the donkey standing by. Yeah, she got it. She got it. <laughs> I like her. Thank you so much for, uh, for 
TV. Yes. Um, well, Jane, you're doing a great job. You look fantastic. And we're going to let you get back to terrorizing the rest of the people here at the... Terrorize as many people as you can. Yes. But you're doing such a wonderful job at it. All right. Well, we're going to get back to the movie, The Omega Man, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. Uh, you enjoy. And Jane, it was, you look fantastic. followers this is your old pal brother Jack angry bringing you uh, another great group of cosplayers now uh, the gal that uh, is doing mad moxie here we've interviewed you before at anime Nebraska on two years ago so um, why don't you just tell us about your booth here and what you're what you're doing And this is Skellington's Closet? Yes, Skellington's Closet is the name of her. Okay. Okay, great. And um, what sort of artwork do you feature? Is it all anime based or? Um, mostly, like it's just kind of whatever I have to do, like a time. Like I tried to do a mix of like fan art, original stuff. It has a heavy anime influence, but I also try to mix it with more realistic, like traditional style, I guess you could call it. Okay. And, um, all right, and uh, Moxie, so you said you were going to be judging one of the costumes? Oh, no. I, we're actually going to the cosplay contest. Ah. There's the pre-judging that's going on we have to go to where we just stand there and they pre-judge. We're just kind of entering the contest just for fun. Okay. Yes, and you know what? And I did do a search for Mad Moxie on cosplay on the internet. Found so much stuff. There's a lot. Yeah, it's like I think my eyeballs. I got burned out my eyeballs looking at it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, we'll let you get back to your uh, to your booth and everything. But it was really great talking to you. Thank you. All right, and we will get back to the movie here on the Angry Brothers. Yes. All right. Well, greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back, and we're. Here at Okama Con, uh, with the uh, girls from the Nye Corral Crafts booth, and we're just going to have you tell, talk a little bit about what your characters are and what you're doing here. Okay, well, yeah, we've seen a lot of Harley Quinns. We're kind of full up on Harley Quinns today. Well, that's it. That's true. I mean, God love Harley Quinn, you know. Well, great. That's 
cool. Killing, maiming, no, we're not, we don't, we're not all about that. But, um, so now you girls are from Minnesota, is that right? No. Oh, see, that's stuck. Um, so what sort of, uh, what sort of merchandise do you, do you sell here with your booth? All handmade. I don't know if you can pan over and look at it. You can record it. It's all handmade. All handmade items. Uh, both of us do them. We also have vinyl. She's got a machine that cuts out vinyl. Okay. Understand how that goes. So if you didn't hear what she said, she said her and her friend both hand make. Yes. Okay, you both hand make everything. Wow. Nicole and I'm Coral. We so put our names together. It's okay. Nicole. All right, that works. Yeah, I get it. Very, very clever women. We can bet on recruiting them on the dark side. <laughs> well, we need all the help we can get on dark side on the dark side. I mean, all we've got is brother James, and he's drunk all the time. <laughs> Well, you girls look great. Enjoy the rest of the convention, and we'll stop back a little later on. Thank you. All right, and we're going to get back to the movie The Omega Man with Charlton Heston. All right, okay, we're rolling in three, two, one, go. Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, bringing you some more great uh, scenes here from the first annual O Comic Con. We have with us the Queen of the Paranormal. Uh, I hope I don't butcher your name too bad. Carolicia Ona? No. Carolcha Ona? Carolcha. Carolcha uh, Ona. And, um, all right, so why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what your, um, your, your, is it the uh, Exorcist Legacy? Yes. Exorcist as being the first real movie that ever scared the crap out of me. Well, that thing where they had Eileen Dietz made up as the demon and they'd flash it onto the screen, that creeped me out for six months. I think the voice changes enough. Yeah, well, the voice, Mercedes McCambridge is the voice of the devil. Okay. All right, well, um,. So this is your, is this your first time here in Omaha? Or? This is my first time in uh, the Omaha, Iowa area. I mean, I must tell you, the air is great. And the people here are very very Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's, uh, Omaha's known for that. So, yeah. you know, we're glad you're here. And you look fantastic, by the way. Yes. Well, Brother Jack. Well, yes, it's like, and you know what they say, women are the devil. 
but well, we are going to let you get back to the convention, but thank you, and we'll get back to the movie The Omega Man with Charlton Heston.
it's nothing that a drink can't fix. It's after one such night of Bacardi, what? Debauchery with artist Greg Hinkle that the project really comes into its own. Quite literary, because Airboy himself appears to set the two Jack, that perfect. was amazing. I had no idea you had so many, so much power. Yes, it was wow. a cigarette. <laughs> and where can we see your show, Jack? Uh, all right, well, you can see us on here in Omaha on KPAO Cox Channel 22. Uh, that is Saturday mornings at 1 a.m. We are I have a YouTube channel, and that's, uh, you can just Google the Angry Brothers on YouTube. Uh, we are on Vimeo. Again, you can Google uh, the Angry Brothers.